AMR changed my life in every single way possible. I want my experience to open people's eyes and empower them to help prevent AMR. When I was 25, I had a car accident in Johannesburg and although I suffered severe injuries to most of my body, the most severe were to my face. This basically followed into a 10-year facial reconstruction. In my sixth year, after having various prosthetics implanted into my face, I had pus seeping out of my face and they readmitted me because they said to me it was an infection. Every single day waking up to an, a recurring infection was frightening because I kept looking in the mirror, seeing this infection eating away at my skin on my face and thinking, am I going to have a face in the morning? How much further damage is it going to do? And I just didn't know what was going on. So they were prescribing the same type of antibiotic over and over and over again. And I said to myself, why is this infection so special? When my plastic surgeon decided to remove the facial prosthetic where he thought the infection was coming from, he sent it off for testing. And for the first time I saw something at the top of the test that read MRSA. And when I got onto the internet and started reading about what MRSA was, up came antibiotic resistance. And this really frightened me because it was the first time that I read about what antibiotic resistance was. When I finally, after 11 months, got this piece of paper in front of me that said there's 15 antibiotics listed on this diagnostic test and five of them would work for you. Why was it a guessing game? It shouldn't have been a guessing game. You know, I never thought this would happen to me the same way that I never thought a car accident would happen to me. One of the most important things that I learned from having AMR was that I needed to be taking antibiotics correctly. You know, we often think antibiotics can cure anything, but I realised that they really should only be prescribed for certain conditions. The other really important message that I got from, from having AMR was to keep my hands clean all the time. This is a preventative measure that helps us prevent AMR in the first place. AMR can happen to anyone and your life can change just like mine did in a split second. You are a key stakeholder to help preserve these life-saving medicines.